Hello, today we are going to see four new things about Amethyst Physics where the first is the new added API which allow you to remove degree of freedom of any rigid object. The other instead is how it's possible to create a system which is able to correctly interact with the physics. And the other two are the API to retrieve the velocity to apply forces and impulses. In order to show all these features, I am creating a project where there is a character controller using a rigid body which is able to move and watch uh, all around. To start, I am creating this function, which is called create character entities. So the character is composed by three entities, where the main one is the uh, rigid body, which is again the main body. And then we have the camera boom handle, which is attached to the main body and is translated by one unit in the Y axis. To the, to the camera boom is attached the actual camera entity which is translated in the, in the Z direction by 6 or 7 units. The idea of this structure is that by rotating uh, the camera boom handle is possible to orientate the camera uh, while keeping the pivot near the head of the character. So, starting writing this function, we arrive to the, the rigid body description and it looks uh, similar to, uh, to the one that we already used for the creation of the box, except for the part where I am constraining the rotational degree of freedom of this character because remember that I am using a rigid body but when I submit uh, the forces I don't want that this character rotate but I want that it stays still now that the character is created we need to uh, create the camera motion system which uh, fetch the mouse inputs and rotate the camera all around the character. Uh, this system doesn't interact directly with the physics, so it doesn't need any special things. So uh, after the creation, I register it normally. Then we need to create another system which is responsible for the motion of the character. The system is called character controller system and uh, these have to interact with the physics and so this means that we need to register this system under the physics bundle and to be much more specific we need to register it uh, with the prephysics uh, i will explain better why we need to exactly register this system in this way it's really simple, but I will do it in another video. The rule of thumb is that once, when you need to interact with the physics directly by adding a velocity or applying a force or an impulse, you need always to register this system with prephysics function. So after the creation of this system with everything that I need, the physics world, the rigid bodies, all the storages, all the, uh, all the resources, I arrived to the point where I have to apply a new force and I can take the direction vector which I have extrapolated, that I have fetched from the inputs and I can use this vector in order to generate the force to move the character and so using the function apply forces I can apply the forces to the character rigid body so this is really easy I am able to just move the character with three line of code Now, I need that when I press W on the keyboard, I want to move the character forward in the direction of the camera. So, I need to take the direction uh, vector that I generated before. When I press W on the keyboard, the, my new direction vector will point toward the camera. Now, the problem is that I am using a rigid body. And as you can imagine, when I release all the buttons of the keyboard, what happens is that this character continue to slide and I have stopped this behavior. So I can retrieve the velocity of this rigid body using this API 
And uh, if I assume that the actual mass of, the, the, of this rigid body is one, and it's really one, I can divide it by the delta time then by multiplying by minus one I am obtaining the for the velocity forces but in the opposite direction and by applying it I am able to slow down or, or better to completely stop the character when I release the button on the keyboard and indeed this is what happened now the only thing that remain is to implement the jumping and after fetching the inputs from the keyboard I am able to apply the impulse since right now I am not able to know when uh, I am on the ground uh, I can't stop this character to fly but later I will implement the collision check in order to know if I am on the ground or not and I will fix this problem thank you for watching bye